White from Model Car Muse. At the 40th NNL Nationals in Toledo, we got to spend some time with Irv Arder. His models are known for a stance called a rake. That's the front end just a little lower than the back. Gives it an aggressive aerodynamic look. We get to see these models in this interview and we also get to hear about his full-size El Camino and his Schwinn Stingray. He has a nickname. What's your nickname? Arter Rake. Arter Rake on the box. I belong to Mama's Maryland Almond <laughs> Model <laughs> Association. Mm -hmm. Kind of like it started as a joke. Sure. Because um, most guys can kind of pick my stuff out on the table. Irv is known for his rake. So let's swing over and take a look at some of his models. They're lined up. Studebaker Mustang, Chevy Wagon, and a Corvair pickup. Tell us about the rake and how it is where you start your build. For me, it's all about the appearance. Um, I pick out the wheels and tires and, and set up the rake before I do anything else. And I've been known to do radical things to have the rake. Well, I'm famous for cutting off the top of the tires. There you go. Um, usually they're not functional as far as suspension-wise, but you know that's the style I like and that's what I've always built. So I've kind of been known for it. But uh, yeah, I think that one, the tires are cut. Pretty sure they are. Um, some of the older cars with the heavy frames underneath them have to cut a lot out to get them to sure. uh, to get the axle to get the axle or whatever. Some of them don't maybe not even have axle epoxy in there, but so I sacrifice the suspension to get the look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all about the look. It's all about the look. All that me. stance. Yeah. So for the most part, and I know maybe wheel size, wheel height may be an issue. Sometimes. But do you pretty much say I'm keeping the rear axle stock height or um, stock look ish? Not and then adjust the front? Yeah. Sometimes Usually I'll get the front ones to look right in the wheel well, and then the back ones I might, depending on the style of the car, mm -hmm. the cars like some of my customs, yeah. they'll tend to be lower in the back. Sure. Still have a little bit of rake, but not as dramatic as say more of us, you know, like a street machine would have. Yeah. It um, lends itself really, I think, really well to a customer. Yeah, yeah. And if you notice, like That's that one's cool. a little lower in yeah. the back. Um, so is that one. Yeah. And that one is too. Um, but sometimes they, they vary. I noticed the one that I gave back to Lyle. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't quite have the same rake to it. Yeah, it's not that's quite it's as a little lower as yeah. some of my other ones. The first year I came out here in the back of Lyle Willett's car, yeah. I sanded all the, I had that kit, and I sanded all the parts, all the seams off all the parts. So I got home, I had all springs and everything. Every, yeah. I sanded every individual part. Painted it. On the way out here, Lyle hit 100 miles an hour going on the road. So this car's already been 100 miles an hour. That new way. Yeah. And then I painted it, and I lost. I had the wheels pick and everything. I lost interest in it, and I gave it to Lyle, and he built it. Oh wow. And then I begged for it back. <laughs> so Lyle did. Uh, I did the yeah. paint, and the, and I think I picked out the wheels and the headers and stuff. But in the interior, I think I already painted white. But he did everything else. So he pretty much built it. In fact, he put tags on it. But he pretty much will. Yeah. But, uh, so that kind of has some history yeah. coming out here. So uh, that's very cool. I think a lot of that look is about you know the front's down. It's anxious. It's aerodynamic. Yeah. Yeah. The back of it's up because it's got to fit those wheels that put the power to the ground in there. Yeah. And I think this was done more in the West Coast than the East Coast because the East Coast. Didn't have, you know, you don't have the severe chop tops, and stuff is more drivable right. per se because yeah. the roads are rougher. Yeah. Versus the West Coast, where the roads are nicer, the weather's nicer. No potholes. Yeah. So you would <laughs> see a lot more yeah. of the lowering. I think out west more than you saw on the East yeah. Coast. So it's more of a, I guess, a West Coast look versus an East Coast. And even back in the day, I mean, cars were jacked up pretty high on the back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in the in, uh, late 60s and 70s. Yeah. Yeah, we all had air shocks, and they usually had yeah. as much air as you could put in them. And they usually up pretty much in the back. We didn't lower anything in the front because we didn't know how really to do that. But you've, you've done some full scale stuff. It's yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah. They're... Like an El Camino that you did yeah. some. That's some got a two and a half changes. inch drop on it mm -hmm. on the front. So. What else did you change out of that? Uh, that we did a frame off on it. Yeah. It's, um, it's got, put a four speed in it, bench seat yeah. four speed. It's got two and a half inch exhaust, yeah. crossover pipe on it, headers, 
Beautiful car. More like a, you know, it's got the old style tachometer on the steering column. It's more set up. More like, more like that, a little bit lower. Actually, that is the same color of ours. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's 69 Le Mans. Blue. Le Mans blue. Yeah. GM Le Mans. Blue. Classic color. Yeah. So still working just, on bikes. You know, I Stingrays? I have my original Stingray yeah. Yeah, that I too. bought new. <laughs> yeah, I have mine. But I had yeah. two brothers behind me. So okay. By the time they got done with it, and that's when the transition went into the um, the little mountain bike or the BMX yeah, bikes. Yeah. Right. So they took the gears off of it and had yeah. the, the squishy uh, hand grips sure. and knobby tire in the back. Yeah. So when I got it back, <laughs> it was pretty beat. Oh and no. I collected parts for 15 right. years from then. So you got the Very white cool. leather slick on it. Oh, and, dude. oh yeah, white oh. leather slick. It's got the white metal flake seat. Um, yeah. I have the correct um, candy apple red paint. I kept. <laughs> I didn't know when I was a kid, you know, we had all SAE tools, yeah. and bicycles are metric, oh, sure. and we didn't know that. So all the bolts, or the nuts on the, on the, the axles and stuff, yeah. they're all doll-geared because we either used an adjustable sure. wrench, yeah. or we put SAEs on them and just... Yeah, just crank them. So back. I kept, like when I restored it, I didn't yeah. change all the bolts on there that I doll-geared, like the seat yeah. uh, mm -hmm. bolt and stuff. Yeah. I kept them all, you know, I did that, so I kept all those markings and stuff. Full scale model, yep. having a good time. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much to Ur for showing us how he achieves that signature rake. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow your muse wherever you may find it, and may there always be a project on your bench. Thanks for watching.